Hello guys, welcome back. Today I want to do a first impression review on Josh Rosebrook's Advanced Hydrating Mask. Uh, this is a mask that claims to, and I quote, helps to lock in moisture, plump condition, and improve skin circulation. The ingredients in this mask are all natural, organic. The top ingredients are shea butter, mango seed butter, uh, aloe vera. There's also jojoba oil, avocado oil, and sunflower oil. You get 1.5 ounces for $65. It is quite pricey. And that's the reason why I got a sample instead of buying the full product. I know this mask is targeted for people with drier skin types and my skin is extremely oily, but my skin is also dehydrated. So I wanna give this one a try. And the directions say to use this on damp skin. So I'm gonna spray a little bit of water. And on this side, I'm gonna use uh, Josh Rosebrook's Hydrating Accelerator. And this is what it looks like. It smells nice. Feels thick. It's kind of melting on my skin. Feels good. It actually feels more like a thick moisturizer. Yeah, and you definitely need to apply this on damp skin. Yeah, it really just sort of melts on your face. It does have kind of a cooling, minty smell. Uh, this is what the mask looks like. It actually feels like I apply thick moisturizer on my face. It says to leave it on for uh, 15 to 25 minutes. I'll probably leave it on for 30 minutes and I'll be back with you guys. Okay guys, I'm back and I had this mask on for 30 minutes or so and I'm not sure if you can see but I look very oily. It looks like I apply a lot of moisturizer on my face. I was trying to figure out what it smells like and I think it smells like Mayne Lindstrom's Blue Cocoon. Not quite as strong, but if you like May Lindstrom's Blue Cocoon, I think you will like this. Uh, the instructions say to remove this with a dry cloth. So I'm going to use an old t-shirt and see how that works. I'm going to try and remove this with a wet cloth and see if there's any difference. Okay, so both sides feel really good actually. I was afraid this side would feel really sticky. Feels like I just apply moisturizer. I don't feel like I need to apply anything else uh, on my face for extra hydration. This side feels pretty good too. Like, there's a very defined line that I have right here and I think the mask is helping um, make it less visible. Okay guys, so this is what I think about this mask. I think a little bit goes a long ways. Um, this is a sample I got and it wasn't even half full and it was plenty for one application. I think this is the kind of mask that would be great for winter, especially for people with dry skin or dehydrated skin. The only thing I don't like about it is the price. I think it's a little bit on the pricier side, but I think people with a dry to very dry skin will love this mask. And that's all I have guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.